Our Transpennine Express is routed over the West Coast Main Line from Manchester to Stockport, from where it turns east to head over the Hope Valley Line through the stunning Peak District to Sheffield. After connecting with the East Coast Main Line at Doncaster, our train continues to the seaside town of Cleethorpes, running via Scunthorpe and Grimsby. Our train is formed of a Class 185 diesel multiple unit operated by First Group under their Transpennine Express franchise, renewed exclusively to that company in April 2016 for a further seven years. Fifty-one three-car class 185-0 DMUs were built by Siemens in Germany, especially for first Transpennine Express routes. We're now entering what is generally referred to as the Hope Valley Line. The Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railway had opened its line between Manchester and Sheffield as early as 1845 via the Woodhead route, but it was clear that there was a need for greater capacity over the Pennines. Building the Woodhead Tunnel had been very difficult and cost many lives, and after the Midland Railway's experience building the Settle and Carlisle Line, which eventually opened in 1876, the directors of the company were understandably reluctant to take on a major new project through similarly hard, mountainous country. We are now in the city of Sheffield, historically part of the West Riding of Yorkshire. Its name derives from the river which runs through the city, the River Sheaf. This is the 88-yard long East Bank Tunnel. We get the route into Platform 4 at Doncaster. We now join the East Coast Main Line at South Yorkshire Junction, the former Great Northern Main Line having opened through Doncaster in the same year as the line we've just traversed, 1849. Just here at Maud's Bridge, the old and the new converged, sharing the same track bed from here onwards. A station had been established here at the time, but closed when the newer line opened in 1866. The original line to the River Trent continued straight ahead following the left bank of the canal. It was closed in 1971. Meanwhile, we crossed the canal by means of this sliding bridge dating from 2004. This replaced one installed in 1916, which in turn had been built alongside the original and saw the construction of a two mile long deviation of heavier construction replacing the original. Scunthorpe Steelworks covers an area of around 12 square miles with an equally impressive railway network, estimated to consist of 100 miles of track. We now come in sight of the impressive Rawby Junction signal box, controlling the three routes from Scunthorpe, Gainsborough and Lincoln, the latter two lines having arrived in 1848, opened by the Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railway. The line we're now on opened in 1853 to the docks. This fascinating section of line wending through the back streets of Grimsby is a far cry from the quadruple track main line on which we started our journey. 